It's fooled a few people. It's really working. I mean, the Millennium and Chessington have really got this got this right. You know, the people just they desperately want to believe too. So yeah. even though you you eventually give them a wink and give away that it's actually a puppet, they'll uh, still walk away unsure. Like, well, was it or wasn't it? Was he? Why did he wink? Was it? <laughs> is it real? Well, Karen, give us a sense of what goes into making a puppet that looks sure. so lifelike. Um, well, we had the opportunity to work with Chessington World Adventures Resort. They approached Millennium Effects to help them with a project where we could bring some live characters um, to entertain their crowds. We went through a few uh, animals to have a look at which we could think would be good for entertaining people. We came up with the pandas. Um, and we've been fortunate to work with some amazing talent from sculptors to uh, fabricators, mole makers, and the likes of Richard who helps us bring the animals to life. So they're a combination of different materials. There's 25 different materials in all. There's about 14,000 metres of thread that have gone into sewing, stitching him together. Um, there are 380 pairs of poppers on the adult pandas as well as the baby pandas. And I think in total, so we've got two adults and two babies, there's a total of about 180 square metres of um, nylon fur. So all, all, animals, uh, all animal friendly. But. Yeah, and, and how do you manage to create such lifelike movement because it's not just that it looks like a panda it also moves like a panda as well it has controls inside i can control the eye movement i can control the, the mouth movement and the ears just see that and then i've got the, it, they put a wonderful sort of mechanism in the head just to give you just enough movement to make it sort of real and then obviously just give it the, just, just make it a little bit naughty really <laughs> make it do a few things that you don't really want it to do come on <laughs> <laughs> Karen, you touched on this being the baby panda. Yes. There are also adult pandas, there which are. are incredible. Absolutely incredible. Yeah, oh. yeah just so lifelike. And they're, when they're sort of playing with each other in Waterloo Station or on the bridge, and, and eventually at Chessington, when it opens, they will be amazing. Yeah, the show's going to be really entertaining with two adults. So it's a family, mother, father, and two babies. Um, we've been yeah really excited about having these. How does it work with the adults? I'd imagine that holding a panda that size is slightly <laughs> more challenging than, than baby yeah, that's panda. That's not for me, I'm afraid. <laughs> How does it work with the adults? We have, um, we have our performers, so uh, the likes of Richard who helps us bring the baby to life. With the adults, they actually have a performer inside. It's a little bit of magic trickery, but uh, we've got some great performers who help us bring those movements to life. We were fortunate to have um, a research and development window where we could work on the body movements of the panda to work with the human and make it look as real as possible. Yeah, and you touched on visiting some of the London landmarks over the past day or so. What sort of reaction have you had from people, Richard? Oh, it's just been phenomenal. Just absolutely amazing. From from kids to to you know to grown adults to to city workers who just can't quite believe, who who are walking up to me and saying, "I, I never thought I'd see one of these for real." <laughs> uh, in in it's central interacting, London, interacting, isn't yeah. it? It's being able and to get so close to uh, to. And uh, thousands of selfies, of course, and thousands of pictures, and people tweeting all over the place about the new Chessington, uh, <laughs> the new Chessington show. Do you burst the bubble and tell them it's a puppet, or do you let them believe it's real? Eventually, I think I found the best way was just not to answer the questions. So if they say, "Is it real?" You just give them a, a knowing look and let them decide for themselves. <laughs> no, we <laughs> are we are fessing up to them being puppets <laughs> in creature suits, but uh, yeah, it's sometimes good to have a little bit of fun. Let's see if the people can figure it out.